today we're going to do a little little testing with the new cover for the Torque Storm 75 millimeter supercharger. Uh, we have here a beautiful SS396 Chevelle, a 402. Um, it is, let me pull it up here. Yeah, 9.5 to one compression. And the cam is a uh, Comp Cam XE 268H, so uh, 224, 230, uh, 515, 520, 110, plus 4. It has a Holly Sniper system on it, uh, which we are not a fan of at all. Um, but what we're going to do today is we're going to do a few different tests. We're going to test the cover, the new cover, with uh, intake piping, new air filter setup that we made for it. Um, we're going to test it with the velocity stack. We're going to test it without the velocity stack. And then we're going to swap back to the, uh, the previous cover. And we're going to test it with the air filter and without the air filter. We're interested to see what's going on here and keep in mind that our elevation is fairly high. Our elevation is mid 4,000 feet, but our density altitude is much higher. Let me see if we can pull that up. So current elevation, density altitude, actually we have probably some of the best density altitude. Normally, especially in the summertime, we're six, seven, eight, sometimes 9,000 feet up here. And maybe we'll get another one of the Torque Storm setups that we have um, for back-to-back -back testing when our density altitude is a few thousand feet higher than that so we can actually see back-to-back -back results. Uh, but we're really curious to see. Jarrett's slightly optimistic. I'm slightly pessimistic about it. And Casey is... Kind of, up, yeah, up. Uh, he, he's kind of in between. I'm here to support the internet people. Someone needs to speak for them. <laughs> I haven't bought one yet, though. So. Yeah. So. Are you after this? Yeah. This is this is going to be a good test to see um, at elevation, or at least at around 4,000 feet. See what she does. Okay. So we have fixed the fuel issue. Uh, the 255 in tank pump just was not keeping up. Uh, swapped the tank out to the uh, uh, Holly tank for this. Uh, comes with uh, their 300 LPH fuel pump. Um, so it is holding fuel pressure now. Now what we're doing is we have the Volute installed on there and we're going to do testing from here and then we're going to lock out the timing. I think we're going to keep it at 30 degrees. And just so there's not a huge variance uh, based on boost difference, um, if there is. Uh, and then we're going to be doing testing, uh, seeing what the boost level does and changes in things like uh, intake air temp. Um, so it's not a complete apples to apples test with like driving on the street because we're trying to give this as much advantage as possible uh, so we can see what its true potential is uh, but as you can see this inlet is just pulling hot air off the headers here which a lot of supercharger setups do it that way um, pro chargers a lot of their kits run it like that too but we're we're trying to add a little bit of cool air with the dyno fan. Another dyno fan down here. So we're trying to give this its best chance to make the most power. Um, also, non-intercooled setup. Uh, so we're going to actually be able to see what the temperature change difference is uh, coming out of that compressor. So uh, right now we're, we're tossing a new set of plugs so we can just make sure everything's good on this which will be the uh, theoretically the most boost with this volute um, 
and then we'll go from there. So she made 462. Alright, so we're actually at 29 degrees. About 14.3 pounds. 11.8 AFR. And then uh, intake air temp. 119. We started uh, roughly around 93. All right. Now let's see what the next one is. Without the volute. Four sixty one, so not much different. We'll check over the data log and see boost IT and AFR, make sure everything looks good there. Um, and then we'll add the filter on. So without the volute, it still made fourteen. We got twenty eight point nine degrees, twenty nine. Uh, that was just a little, little leaner AFR up there as the closed loop was making some adjustments to it. Um, One twenty-two air temp, so not really much difference, and it reflected on the dyno. One horsepower. Okay, so with the air filter and piping, dropped about 20 horse off there. So it made just a little bit less boost, 13.8. Intake temp still uh, in the 120s. 11, 7, 11, 8 AFR, 28.9 degrees, 29 degrees. Um, yeah, dropped about 20 horsepower on her. Now, one thing you have to realize is we're trying to give the non-air filter test the most advantage as possible. Um, realistically, with the hood shut on this and driving around in the summertime without the air filter and this piping here, you're going to have much higher intake temps going into the blower. Uh, less dense air charge going into the blower. So we're just trying to do as, as apples to apples comparison as possible, um, but actually driving down the road is a little, little different. So now we're going to take the old housing and toss it on there and do the same series of tests and see if there's any actual difference between the two. So with the original cover, four twenty six, and let's see what we lost here. Boost, we lost about a pound, about a pound, pound and a half of boost. Uh, twenty nine degrees of timing. 
Uh, 11.8 AFR, 121 degree intake temp. Original cover with air filter now. Four hundred and twenty horse. A little bit lower down low. That's with the air filter and standard cover. Now let's check out the data. So with the filter on there, I made ten point eight pounds. Uh, still twenty nine degrees of timing locked out. Eleven eight eleven nine AFR. All right. So I think we have our data right there. New cover with volute. No air filter, of course. New cover without volute. No air filter. New cover with air filter. Old cover without filter. Old cover with filter. So there's... Uh, at least on this setup right here, we got about a 40, 42 horse, 43 horse increase. If you go no filter, now keep in mind that is also us testing it with the hood up, with air blowing in here, um, so actual real world, with the hood closed and drawing hot air off the headers is gonna be a little bit different. Um, but as far as what the compressor's actually doing, compressor housing swaps actually doing, um, does look like there is a gain there. Now the volute may come into play at uh, different applications, maybe lower elevation, uh, it might see a little bit better gain, or if you really had this pulleyed way down. Um, but on this particular setup, we just didn't see a gain that uh, we could say, hey, yeah, definitely need to have the balloon.